Hi everyone, welcome to the Uh This is the third video we are doing uh, on this exam paper, Cambridge O Level, uh, AdMax, uh, subject code 4037. And this is the May June uh, 2021 paper, uh, paper 2. Uh, we are looking at a few of the questions. And um, we have covered number one and number two. We have number three on the board, but number three, which is on the board here, I just written down the information that I need from the question. So for the exact question, you can look it up on, on the website. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we look at the question and do the problem, uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Give this video a like, share as much as you can, and uh, please visit the mathcenter.com. Right. We have a whole range of online courses at Maths Physics and Accounting uh, for IGCSE, A levels, and I. Okay. Great. Uh, what's number three all about? This is a six pointer though, right? Six points in this question. And you're told that you have two variables, x and y. You have two variables, x and y. And they tell you that uh, when log y is plotted against log x, yeah? this is my horrible handwriting, just bear with me, right? So they tell you that when log y is plotted against log x, you get a straight line. Okay, so let me do that here, right? Okay. Log y against log x and you get a straight line. That's what they say. Okay, so um, and they're telling you that this straight line is passing through these two points. Okay, uh, minus one, minus one. Maybe I can, uh, the picture here is not that great, but uh, maybe I shall redraw this. Okay, this is not to scale or anything, just to give you an idea, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this okay so this will be um, um, minus 1 minus 4 and this will be this is just to give you an idea right okay you're not going to get any you can't draw this line okay okay great so uh, they tell you the straight line passes through these two points we are asked to show that y equals to a to the power excuse me y equals to a times x to the power of n okay we are asked to show that y equals to a times x to the power of n, where, you know, uh, x and n are integers, yeah? Okay? Let me say that again, yeah? Where a, n, n are... Can you read my writing now? It's clear, though, right? Okay? Where a and n are integers. Okay, great. So let's start. So we know we have got uh, a straight line here, so we can write the vertical axis equals to m times the horizontal axis plus your intercept. That's it. Okay, your vertical axis equals to your m, your gradient times your horizontal axis plus c. Okay, so let's plug in some points. Uh, let's take the first one. We have got uh, 11 equals to uh, what do we have here? Uh, 11 equals to m times 2 plus c. Is that good? So let me write one equation. This is the value of log y. This is the value of log x. So log y, log x, there's an m and there's a c. Uh, maybe I'll make life a little bit easier for us. Let's go ahead and work the gradient, right? Because you can see the gradient in front of you. So the gradient m will be equals to y2 minus y1. Is that okay? y2 minus y1, which is 15 now. And x2 minus x1 will be what? 3, correct? 2 minus minus 1. So this will be 5. Is that good? So now I have 11 equals to, I don't make this. Is that good? So I've got, uh, now what is C? 1. So now I have, I'm going to write it here. Hope you all can see this here. So I can write log y equals to, what's my gradient? 5 log x plus 1. Close to yeah, we're almost done. We just want to write in the way that they have asked you to write the solution. So let me just get rid of this. Okay. Okay. Log y equals to. I'm going to write this and see whether you're okay about this. Okay. I brought the five up. I replace log. I replace one with what log of ten. Okay, because we're dealing all with place ten. Right? So now I have log of y will be log of, are you okay about this? 
log n plus log n is log n n. Now we've got log here, we have log here, drop the logs, and I y equals to. So now my a here we've got 10 and my n here will be 5. And we're done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a like and share as much as you can. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube and uh, please visit the right? Uh, you have lots of exam based courses there in maths, physics and accounting for IGCSE A levels and I. Thank you.